In the last 30 days, this education channel has gotten over 800,000 views and is making anywhere from $2,000 to almost $7,000 every single month, all as a result of creating these simple educational videos for kids. I will show you exactly how to create this type of educational videos using only AI tools. Look at the video sample that I just created. Hi friends, I'm Mango, the king of fruits. I'm super sweet, especially in summer. Some people call me a tropical treasure. Have you tried a mango smoothie? And by the end of this tutorial, I will give you a bonus tip that will help you start making money right away even as a complete a small YouTuber with 100 or less than 100 subscribers. So the first step to create this type of educational videos, you need a lesson that you're going to educate the kids about. Imagine you want to educate the kids about fruits. When you study this channel, most of their popular videos are about fruits. This one uploaded 8 months ago got 3.5 million views. This one uploaded a year ago got 3.4 million views and according to vidiq this video even though it was uploaded like one year ago it is getting almost 400 views every single hour so what you can simply do is head over to chat gpt and you can ask it to give you a list of 50 different fruits and once chat gpt is done giving you a list of 50 different fruits what you want to do is give it this second prompt that says based on the list of fruits Please write me a short kids lesson where each fruit introduces itself to the kids. And once ChatGPT is done writing a lesson for you, what you want to do, which is the most important thing, is to go through your lesson. This is an AI which is generating this lesson for you. So you need to make sure that you give it that human touch and make it easily digestible for your audience. The last and final prompt that would give ChatGPT is this prompt that says, give me prompts I will use to generate images for each fruit standing straight facing the camera and with a very happy face. All the fruits must have features like legs, arms, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, etc. Then I'll click on generate. And once ChatGPT is done generating our prompts, this takes us to the second step where we need to generate images for our lesson. So we'll copy the first prompt and we'll come to design AI. I'll leave the link in the description. Then we'll click on new project. Then we'll give a name to our project. We'll call it fruit lesson. From there we'll select 16 by 9 as our aspect ratio and we'll click on a Apply. From there, we'll come to text to image, then we'll paste in our first prompt for our first fruit. Then here on design general, we're going to select design 3D V1, then we'll click on generate. Okay, so it has just generated the images for us. We've got an apple here, then we've got the other one here. So we can ask it to regenerate. That's if we're not happy with the way they look. And if maybe we would want a different background, we can simply specify that in our prompt. If we are happy with the way it looks, what we can simply do is hover our mouse to this same image and the download button will appear here and we can download our image and from there we can go back to chat gpt and copy the next prompt come back to design and paste it here and click on generate so you repeat this same process of generating your images until you are done and once you're done generating your images and downloading them into your PC, this takes us to the third step, which is generating an audio for our entire lesson. And the tool that we can use is Eleven Labs. You'll find the link in the description below. So once you're here, what you want to do is come to the text to speech button here on your left. From there, what you want to do is go back to ChatGPT and go to your lesson where the fruits are introducing themselves. So the first fruit is an apple. So we'll copy the text for an apple. We'll come back to Eleven Labs and we'll paste it there. And from there, we'll select a voice that will be suitable representing an apple. Once we find a voice that is suitable for an apple, we'll click on the generate button. Okay, I love how it sounds, so I'll click on the download button. From there, I'll go back to ChatGPT. I'll copy the script for the second fruit, which I believe is a banana. Then from there, we'll come back to Eleven Labs. We'll paste our script there. Then from there, we'll select a different voice, not the one that we used when we were generating an audio for an apple. Once I choose a voice, I'll click on generate again. Once you're done generating an audio for the banana, what you want to do is go back to ChatGPT copy the sentence for the next fruit then come back to 11 labs generate an audio and if you are happy download it into your pc so you repeat this same process for all the remaining fruits and once you are done generating your audio this takes us to the fourth ai2 that you need which is pixverse ai so this ai2 is going to help us convert our still images into 3d stunning images so what we'll do is we'll click on this plus icon here to upload our image Select your first image. From there, describe what you want to happen to your image. Is it talking or just dancing, excited, anything like that? Then here at the bottom, you can play with these settings like the durations, the style, and the model for your image. So I'll just leave them the way they are. I'll click on create.
this is just so wonderful so it has just added some elements which kind of like fun if you may think about it so what i will simply do is i will come to this lip sync icon and from there what i'll do is i'll upload an audio for our mango okay then from there what i'll simply do is i'll click on create okay this is so interesting once that is done what you want to do to save your video in your pc is just click on this download button here then from there what you want to do is come to this icon which says image and text and delete this image which is here click on the same button upload your second image then click on create to make that animation okay <laughs> So once that is done, what you want to do is click on a lip sync, then click on upload an audio and upload the audio for the banana. And once it is uploaded, what you want to do is click on create and wait for it to lip sync with our character. Once it's done, what you want to do is download the same video into your PC and you repeat the same for the remaining fruits. So once you're done creating your videos, the last thing that we can do is to blend everything to make one single lesson. And the two that we can use is CapCut. So once you're here, what you want to do is upload your video files here. Just import on media here and we'll drag them here on the timeline like that from here what you want to do is number one add transition between your video files just come to transition from there strike a transition between your media file like that and it will be applied from there what you want to do is again come to caption and just add some captions here to your video change the font style and if you can animate your text and from there the last thing that's if you would really want to add this one this is where you create a certain design of a particular letter that starts with the fruit you're talking about in canva and place it in front of your fruit for example most videos that you've watched they start with a for apple then they bring out this image of an apple and the apple talking to the kids then they go to the next fruit for example banana in our case and we can say b for banana and the banana comes to the scene and talk to the kids that's only if you want to add such kind of a thing to your project then from here your video is ready to be uploaded the last thing that you just want to add is some background music just drag your media file here at the bottom just trim your media file like that and reduce its volume to somewhere there then from there what you want to do is just come to the export button here export your video and it is ready to be uploaded on your youtube channel so that's how easy it is to create educational videos now coming back to our final bonus if you are somebody who wants to make money right away on your youtube channel you do not want to wait for 1000 subscribers and 4000 public watch hours and apply for youtube monetization but you want to start making money from your youtube channel as soon as now the best part is to start selling digital products on your youtube channel this doesn't matter the type of channel that you're running you can sell digital products to your audience so if you're somebody who is willing to take action and embark on this journey of selling digital product there is a kdp masterclass in the description below i'll also pin it in the comment section below so this masterclass will walk you through all the tools that you need and all the information that you need for you to get started making your digital products and selling them online and start making money right away regardless of the amount of audience that you have on your youtube channel so take that action god bless you let me see you on the money side hello everyone i'm banana i'm long and yellow and i give you lots of energy just peel me and i'm ready to eat monkeys love me and i bet you will too hi there i'm apple i come in red green and yellow colors i'm crunchy and sweet and people love to snack on me or make pies do you like apples hi friends i'm mango the king of fruits I'm super sweet, especially in summer. Some people call me a tropical treasure. Have you tried a mango smoothie? Hey kiddos, I'm orange. I'm juicy and full of vitamin C, which keeps you healthy. You can drink my juice or enjoy my slices. Isn't my bright color fun?